Hey, it's Martin from ZSK. In this video, we would like to show you how to install the Road to Basket device. For safety reasons, we have to turn off the machine and unplug the power source since we will be installing the required board and the bus controller first. Before we install the KSP10 adapter board, we have to remove the cover on the back side of the thread tension. If you are working with a Sprint 7 or later, you have to remove the cover on the left hand side seen from the rear. First, we need to remove these two screws. To bring in the KSP adapter board, we need to unplug this cable, bring in the KSP10 adapter board, and bring back the screws. Take the screws that was delivered with the KSP10 adapter board, they are a bit longer. Take care that this eyelet is clamped between the two boards. After that you can bring back these plugs. Now we need to connect the KSP10 adapter board with the KSP10. Therefore we are plugging in this cable coming from the KSP10 adapter board in the upper one of the KSP10 on the left hand side. Then we are removing the cable here, therefore we plug in the one from the KSP10 adapter board and this one is going to the KSP10 adapter board. Now we need to connect the bus cable, therefore we need to remove it from the KSP10, plug it in to the adapter and then Plug the black part inside the KSP10. Now we have to install the cable for the tape control device because we will need it later. The laying of the cable I will show you in one of the next steps. After we have connected the cable we can close the cover. To install the bus controller, we need to open the cover of the electronic on the rear side of the machine. The bus controller will be delivered with two cables. The first one is necessary for racer machines, so we don't need this for our installation. And the second one is for sprint machines. To install the bus controller, we need to plug in cable number two inside the bus controller. Remove the encoder plug from the MCP31 as well as the data bus cable. Now we connect the bus controller with the MCP31 therefore we are using this plug for the data bus cable and the data bus cable that we removed from the MCP31 will be plugged in in this adapter. Then we connect the other side of the bus controller with the encoder plug on the MCP31 and the remove cable we connect with the adapter. Now the installation of the bus controller is done, we just need to set the dip switches that I will show you in the next step. For the roll to basket device all dip switches have to be disabled except switch 5 and 9. Here is switch 5, we are going to turn it on. And here is 9, we are going to turn it on as well. Now we can close the cover. Take care that you do not damage any cables and keep them away from moving parts like the shaft here. Before we can start with laying the cable that connects the KSP10 adapter with the tape control device, we need to make a manual needle change to needle number 1. Now we connect the cable with a zip tie to the others that are coming out of the head. In order to fix the holder to a machine body of a Sprint 6, we need to release these two screws and add the holder with these two screws. Same on the other side. Because of the extended thread stand of a Sprint 7, we need to attach the holders on a Sprint 7 with the screws on the back. 
Therefore, use these two screws and attach the holder on both sides like this. After we have installed the holders, we can place the holder rail and tighten both stoppers from the inside of the holders to prevent the rail from slipping. With the two other stoppers we can align the tape straight behind the tubular arm. To install the roll to basket frame we need to install the tubular arms to the machine first. Now we need to flip the connectors from the frame If we have done this, we can place the frame into the tubular arms. In the next step, we are connecting the tape control device with the cable that is plugged into the KSP10 adapter. Therefore, we need to switch off the machine. And then we can plug in the cable. For demonstration purposes, I have placed the device on the table to show you how to connect the hoses. Therefore, we need to go through here with all four hoses. And then I can connect them like shown on the picture underneath your device. To connect the air preparation device, I fixed it here for demonstration purposes just with a zip tie. To the tape control device, use the delivered hose, plug it in on the preparation device and then to the tape control device. Now connect your air supply. After you connect your air supply, open the valve and set your pressure to 0 0.6 megapascal. And lock it. To finish the installation, we need to change two dip switches inside the T8. Therefore, we go to L3 service, press Shift U0, choose ZSK engineer, and choose L2 dip switches. Here we are going to switch 56 and change ribbon device to available one. Now we can see that it changed. Then we are going to S73 to S76. This one we need to change to 1100 vertical feet version 3 x axis. Change the settings. After you have changed this, check it and then you can save the settings. Say change setting, switch off the machine, wait 30 seconds and switch it back on. After that the installation is done. We hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.